Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mickey. Today, I'm not going to be doing any cooking at all. Actually, I am going to be making a drink from Castaway Key. That very special private island that you can only get to by taking a Disney cruise. This drink, you can actually find at several bars on that island. One of them being Conked Out, which you might be if you've had a few of these. Another one is Castaway Air. Ah, oh, what a refreshing breeze you'll be feeling on that island. The other is Heads Up, which you might need to be doing from those tidal waves coming in. So let's go ahead and get started with this wonderful drink. I'm going to start off with half an ounce of white rum. I am using Cruzan rum because it is actually one of my favorites besides Bacardi. It has several different flavors that you can choose from, and I love that for adding a special twist to a tropical drink. Now, sticking with tropical theme, one of my favorite things is Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett, which you can hear on Castaway Midday, one of my favorites. He's got his own rum now. Not just tequila, but rum. So we're adding three-fourths ounce of dark rum. To that, we're going to add passion fruit. Uh, now see, for those of you couples that are taking a cruise, you're going to want lots of passion, aren't you? It calls for one ounce of the passion fruit. Then an ounce of orange juice. You can use any kind of orange juice you like. It is your choice. Brand does not matter. All that matters is that it's good. Now this drink only makes one serving. So if you're going to be making this for a party, depending on the number of people, is the amount you're going to have to multiply it by. And lastly, one ounce of pina colada mix. Mmm. I love the smell of coconut and pina colada mix. And you have that all in your shaker. You're going to shake that up. And you're going to get a tall glass and put crushed ice in it, which I already have. And you're going to pour this lovely drink right into your tall glass. Oh, that smells good. I am ready to drink this. Now this you can garnish off many ways. One of them being you can cut up tropical fruit. Maybe you like dragon fruit, star fruit, even kiwi. You can use any of those type things. Just as a fun little slice to add. One of my favorite things to do is the umbrella. Now, I'm gonna tell you a funny story about umbrellas. When I was a little kid, I liked to make little fun drinks and mix juices together. And to make them seem special, well, you know, cause mom and dad of course had their drink. And so I would add little umbrellas to my own little fruit juice drinks. So I felt like I had something special to drink as well. And for those of you Disney fans, you can't miss but adding your Mickey straw to drink it with. So I'm gonna add a nice little Mickey straw in. Now, other things you can do with this, if you don't wanna serve it in a tall glass with crushed ice, you can actually add the ice into your cocktail mixer. That way it'll chill your drink and you can serve it in a nice little flute. That's one option for a party. Another option is you can serve it in a pretty martini glass. Or another fun thing to do is for those of you that keep your little glow lights, look at that. You can add a glow light and pretend like you're in Walt Disney World or Disneyland or the Disney Cruise Line and have your nice little glow light in your drink. Always fun. 
Now, this I think is a perfect drink to take to a holiday party. You know, you've got Christmas coming up, then you've, you know, all those parties, whether it be work, friends, family, whatever it'll be, you need to take something. So this is a great drink that you can take. Also, don't forget, New Year's Eve is around the corner and everybody's in a party, right? So you can always add a little tropical twist by bringing this. Or, like me, I will be soon going to a tropical themed party and so I will be taking this with me, along with my tropical little outfit. So, let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, wow. You can taste everything. It's perfect. Really refreshing. You know, pina coladas a lot of times have that kind of heavy feel to them. Not too refreshing, you know, unlike the margarita, which is really refreshing to have when you're outside in the sun. This is kind of an in-between to that. You know, you've got the creaminess from the coconut and the pina colada mix, but you got the fresh juices. And then the rum to top it off. What better way to have a fun time? So, to bring a little bit of Castaway Key and the Disney Cruise Line to your home, make the conch cooler if you want to get this recipe. All you have to do is visit the Sorcerer Radio Community Message Boards. Go to srsound.com forward slash forum. Visit the one titled Disney Recipes. There you will find a thread titled Cooking with Mickey Videos. There's a whole bunch of them there. You can click on the conch cooler one or any of the others, you will find the video in addition, the recipe. So you can see it being made and you have the recipe all at the same time. So make sure to check it out. Follow me on Twitter at CookingWMickey. You can also check out my website, CookingWithMickey.info. And don't forget, as always, visit Sorcerer Radio and listen to your favorite Disney tunes at srsounds.com on Thursdays. Speaking of Cast Away, you can catch Cast Away Midday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays with Crystal and Lisa, so make sure to check that out. Until next time, I'm Kristen, that's Nikki, <laughs> and we'll see you real soon. Yeah. <laughs>